Today's podcast looks at the popular folk carol, the Cherry Tree Carol, and will include the lesser known carol, As Joseph Was a Walking, a tale of cherries, a marital tiff, and supernatural intervention. I will sing samples of the tunes associated with the songs and end in a full performance. Oh, Joseph was an old man, and an old man was he. And he courted sweet Mary in the town of Galilee. As Mary was a walking in the garden so green, where apples and cherries was plenty to be seen. Then up spake sweet Mary, so meek and mild spake she, Gather me some cherries, Joseph, Gather me cherries three. Then up and spake Joseph, These words answered he, Gather you cherries for yourself, For you will have none of me. This version of the song was collected by Alice Gillington, from a group of gypsies in Surrey, and printed in 1910 in Old Christmas Carols of the Southern Counties. Joseph and Mary are walking in a garden. Mary's pregnant. She asks Joseph to pick her some cherries from a nearby tree. Joseph tells her to let the baby's father get them. The unborn Jesus orders the tree to give Mary cherries. The tree bends its branches to allow Mary to pick the cherries, Joseph is sorry for his harsh words. This carol was very popular in the 18th and 19th century and continues to be so in Britain and North America. It was printed in the broadside literature as early as the mid-18th century and continued in print during the 19th century, which may account for the ballad being so widespread. The basic storyline of the songs collected from country singers in the late 19th and 20th century is quite consistent with the words printed on the broadside. Early book printings include William Sandy's Christmas Carols, Ancient to Modern, printed in 1833, and Songs of the Nativity, edited by William Husk in 1868. A few of the ballad versions contain refrains or chorus, although these are fairly rare. As should be expected, there's a wide range of tune variations although most of them conform to a similar rhythmic pattern. Then Mary said to Joseph, So meek and so mild, Pick me some cherries, Joseph, For I am with child. Then Joseph flew in anger, So angry flew he, Let the father of your baby Gather cherries for thee. Then up spoke Lord Jesus from in his mother's womb. Bow low down, you cherry trees, bow down to the ground. And the cherry trees they bowed down, bowed low to the ground. And Mary gathered cherries. While Joseph stood around. This version of the tune was collected in 1913 by Vaughan Williams from Mr. Davis of Ayrton in Herefordshire. Scholars generally identify the roots of the ballad in the Gospel of Pseudo Matthew, which was first published in the 7th century and had a resurgence of interest in the 9th century. It combines many early apocryphal nativity traditions. In Pseudo Matthew, the event described in the Cherry Tree Carol takes place after the birth of Jesus and is part of the incidents during the flight to Egypt. When Mary grows faint, the infant Jesus commands the tree to bend thy branches and refresh my mother with thy fruit. And the fruit tree is a palm tree. The miraculous fruit tree motif appears in a wide variety of sources, from Greek mythology to the Quran's account of Mary and the birth of Jesus. The ballad storyline appears in a set of Bible-based mystery plays that were performed in the English Midlands and East Anglia around 1500, during the Feast of the Corpus Christi. The events in the plays are borrowed from the Pseudo Gospels, but the characters are portrayed with domestic asides and comments aimed at amusing the audience. 
One of the mystery plays that deals with the nativity includes a scene of Joseph and a pregnant Mary on the road heading for Bethlehem, where the discussion about the cherries and the father of the child takes place. The broadside versions appear to be reworked variations of the dialogue from the 16th century mystery plays. Some of the collected songs end with the words to the song known as Joseph was a walking, or Joseph and the angel. This song addresses the doubt about the father of the child experienced by Joseph. As Joseph was a walking, he heard an angel sing. This very night shall thou be born to be our Lord and King. His birthplace shall be neither in houses nor in hall, but in a wooden manger laid that rested on the mould. His clothing shall be neither in purple or in pall, but in the linen white and fair that unseen babe is all. As Joseph was a walking, thus did the angel sing. This very night shall Christ be born, our glorious Lord and King. That tune was collected by Cecil Sharp in April 1911 from Charles Smith of Courts in Gloucestershire. The New Testament of the Christian Bible does not make any reference to Joseph's age or anger. Faced with Mary's pregnancy, the Gospel of Matthew states, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public grace, planned to dismiss her quietly. Joseph's bad attitude, however, is the topic of a Coventry mystery play, Joseph's Doubt, that was performed right after the Annunciation and before the Nativity. The play seems to have been popular. The two other leading medieval mystery play cycles, the York Mystery Plays and the Wakefield Plays, also include versions of this episode. Joseph's Doubt describes a heated discussion between an angry Joseph and his increasingly anguished wife. Hearing of the angel's visit to Mary, Joseph scoffs. An angel? Alas for shame. You sin by blaming it on an angel. It was some boy who begat this game. This results in the angel appearing to set Joseph straight, at which point he apologises. The song reflects the content of a broadside ballad interpretation of Joseph's visit by an angel. He's told that the child is born to be a heavenly king and he will not be clothed in purple, but in fair white linen. He will not be rocked in silver or gold, but in a plain wooden cradle. The world shall be like stones in the street, while the sun and moon will bow down at his feet. Professor Child felt that this was possibly based on the angel's words to the shepherds, which was reported in the Gospel of Luke, and the predictions by Jesus reported by the authentic Gospels. It's a delightful song to sing and is often included in the Christmas cycle of carols. I'll leave you with a version of the song collected in Gloucestershire by Peter Kennedy from a singer named John Partridge of Cinderford. Now Joseph was an old man and an old man was he and he married Mary the Queen of Galilee and he married Mary, the Queen of Galilee. Now Joseph and Mary, walking down the garden green, where cherries hang heavily on every limb, where cherries hang heavily on every limb. Pick me some cherries, Joseph, pick me some cherries, do. Pick me some cherries, Joseph, that hang on the bough. Pick me some cherries, Joseph, that hang on the bough. Then up spake old Joseph, 
With his words so unkind, let the man gather the cherries that owneth the child. Let the man gather the cherries that owneth the child. Then up spake our Saviour, all in his mother's womb, Bow down, thou blessed cherry tree, that Mary may have some. Bow down, thou blessed cherry tree, that Mary may have some. The very top branches bow down to her feet. Now you can see, Joseph, there are cherries for me. Now you can see, Joseph, there are cherries for me. My child shall not be christened in silver nor in gold, but in some twig cradle that rocks on the mould. But in some twig cradle that rocks on the mould.